Hey guys, how you doing? Uh, right. I'm just on my way to my sister's, which means I'm on Yarmouth Quay. Uh, just a, a quick hour and a half, two hour session. And every time I go with my sisters and I get a chance, I am gonna fish here because we have got some unfinished business here. As you know, if you watch my videos, last week I hooked into something big at this mark. And I know I should be forgetting about it. Don't worry about lost fish. Think about future fish. I can't. I, I can't, I can't let it go. Because not only was that big, I don't know what it was. All I know was, it wasn't a bass. That could have been a pollock, that could have been a mullet, that could have been a cod. I don't think it was a cod, but it could have been. Either way, I don't know, and I have to know. So we're back. Now the chances of him still sitting here after a week, very unlikely, but you never know. So, you and I are gonna keep coming to this mark until we pull that beast from this water. I'm traveling light because it's a quick session, so I've only brought my carp rod. Um, I didn't want to risk it with that little spinning rod again because the tide is low uh, and getting up over this wall is not going to be easy. I didn't want to lumber all my, my beach rods over um, for a quick session. So I've got my carp rod, which should handle it, should we hook into something of any size. So without further ado, I've just put a two hook flapper on. I've got a small rolling lead, what I normally use for my fresh water fishing. Because it's been a bit weedy lately. If I put a gripper on it, it's just going to grab all the weed and that's going to make it hell for this carp rod. So a little small bomb, if you like. Uh, some squid on. We're going to whack it over. Somewhere, I don't know, half a rod length out from the wall. And see if we can't hook into something.
Come on, guys. New species, caught the first eel. <laughs> oh, he's wrapping himself all up. Well, that was nothing short of a nightmare. I hope I don't catch another one of them bloody things. He wriggled all the way up. I was about to get the hook out. He ta entangled himself. Then he managed to find the second hook on the two hook flapper. Got wrapped up on that. Oh my good God. Anyway, bless him, he didn't make it. Uh, he kind of choked himself. Uh, not to laugh at him, but... Um, it wasn't my fault. Uh, so he's gone back. He's going to be food for something. Uh, should have chopped him up, really, and threw bits out. Bait. But, um, yeah, horrible slimy things. Oh, crap, all over me. I hope that's the last of them. Um... Uh, it just took me a good 10 minutes to unravel the two hook flapper. I managed to save it, let's back out with some squid on. And I'm now trying to get rid of slime and bloody things. Anyway, oh, at least I caught something, there's no blank. <laughs> Excuse me. Well, it's been about 20 minutes since I caught that eel. Wally. Uh, um, <clears throat> I've had a couple of little taps, but uh, <clears throat> nothing major. Another hot one today, a scorcher, but there is a little bit, bit of a breeze, which is really pleasant. Um, I'm all sun creamed up again. The trundle over here was awesome as always. I tell you what, since I've had Wally, I've been loving my journeys to the fishing marks. I mean, all right, the weather's been beautiful, beautiful. Um, and in the winter, that's not going to be as much fun. But, uh, seriously, not having a car and using a scooter, everything is calmer, which is what I am now. I'm not in my 20s where everything's got to be super quick. and I'm just taking it all in now and looking at, my, looking at things around me, enjoying the journey, don't care how long it takes, really. Um, and I've been logging on the battery meter on this there's 8 bars and I've done 11 miles now and it's dropped 1 bar so pretty soon I'm going to be going to the fishing lake where I do my carp fishing which is a few miles away I'm going it's going to be an epic trip It'll probably take me about two hours to get there, two hours back. But uh, I'm doing it. 
And I'm serious about what I said before now. If there's a mobility scooter manufacturer out there that wants to sponsor this channel and you can customize it, give it a roof, a trailer, some way out of power, I will do a tour around the UK on a mobility scooter fishing all around the coast. What a dream, that'd be ace. That'd be an epic series of videos, that would. Meeting up with different channels, you know, different guys, different YouTube channels. Fishing both the sea and fresh water. On a mobility scooter, are we? Epic. Maybe they can build one where a tent comes off the side of it or something to sleep in at night. <laughs> Well, I'm going to give this another 10 minutes, then I'll reel in and check the bait. Uh, hopefully, the tide will stop soon and not just bring me over to the wall. I found here that about Half a rod length out from the wall is best. Um, if you can get it to hold. But um, I do love it on the lighter tackle. I seriously do. Even that little eel was putting a bounce on the rod. You know. But um, wait, right, I'll bring you back. guys and this is half decent I now officially hate eels. What a nightmare, try and get the hook out. Right, I hope I don't care anymore. <laughs> 
What a nightmare. They put a good bend in the rod to be fair. So couple more strips. Of squid. Hopefully this time, catch a bloody bass, or cod, please give me a cod. Okay, so it's holding bottom a bit better now, uh, which is good. So I got it out a little bit further. Um, the trouble is, with quite close to the wall, there are snags everywhere. I mean, the other side of this wall isn't just like a flat concrete wall. There's massive tractor tires all the way along it, obviously for boats. There's wooden beams, there's stuff at the bottom. Um, so you need to get just past that. Which is where I am. So, uh, yeah. Let's hope we hook into something more fish-like. I wonder if that one I lost is lurking. I'm coming for you. <laughs> okay, so I'll keep an eye out guys and uh, any action, I've only got about an hour left. And then I've got to shoot over to my sisters. So, uh, fingers crossed. Right, that's my last cast out, guys. Uh, it is a short session. So I'll probably um, add this to another video so it's a bit longer. Um, we didn't blank. We got two very annoying eels. And I will be back here in search of the monster. The South Key Monster. The legend lives on for now. Um, shame, I'd like to do another couple of hours, but I can't. Um, so yeah, if I catch anything, I'll bring you back. If not, I'll see you in a minute on another bit of the video. Morning, guys. Um, okay, this is part two of this video, because yesterday on, on the Arm of Safe Key was a short session. Uh, and we caught those lovely eels, which were no problem whatsoever. Um, 
<laughs> so we are back at my favorite mark uh, Gorston River um, uh, in fact I'll tell you exactly where I am um, because there seems to be a, a an, well not an issue but pe sometimes people comment on how some of my shots are reversed and I have I have explained it before but I'm filming with my phone uh, and when I'm talking to the camera I'm looking at the main screen which is then mirrored um, I do that so I can make sure I'm in shot, I can see myself. When I turn it round and you've just got the little camera, I, I'm like, am I in shot, am I? So, um, that's the reason. Uh, and somebody seems to think, um, jokingly, I know, that I do that so that people can't realise where I am. <laughs> but I will show you exactly where I am. Okay, so where that creamy coloured house next to the coloured house is, um, just past that on the right hand side is Gorston Tackle Centre. And you come out of the shop, come straight down here past this cream house. The car park is right there, which is free. And I'm here on the grassy bit, just behind the car park. Uh, we've got a lovely, beautiful day again. Um, the water is uh, the water in the Joker uh, is clear, very, very clear. Um, I've brought with me my uh, carb rod. I've left a little spinning rod at home. Uh, because as much fun as it was catching that bass without a drop net, as dangerous. Uh, my buddy, Kev, who you've seen on previous videos, fish with me on the pier, uh, he's got a drop net for me, which is awesome. Uh, and he, well, hopefully we're gonna hook up next week sometime so I can get that, because I need that. Um, so I've got my carp rod and I've got my main beach rod. Uh, I brought my main beach rod because I want to go a bit further out towards the middle and I want it to hold um, with anything else that the tide brings the weight right into the wall. I'm going to be fishing with, uh, I've got lug, I've got squid, um, I've got some new weights, I've got some two hook flapper rigs, um, thank you Mr Lick, uh, and I'm going to be dropping uh, by the wall, carp rod, uh, probably with a with a lug worm, and I'm going to put some squid out a bit further out. So I need a heavier weight, and I don't think the carp rod would handle that. So I bought my beach rod. So that's the plan. Um, it is Friday, the 16th of June. It is 11 o'clock. Um, what are we? We're on low tide. Low tide. Hang on a minute. Let me get this right. Yeah, low tide is at 3 o'clock. And it's now 11. So we're fishing down. High tide was about quarter to nine this morning. The plan was to get here at 7. Fish a couple of hours up to high tide and then fish down. Unfortunately, uh, which happens quite often lately, I didn't get any sleep last night. Just laid there for hours. I don't know what the hell that's all about. Um, so I got up late. Uh, I got up tired. Um, I got dressed half asleep. So hence, on one of the hottest days of the year, I'm dressed in black. Of course. Smart thing to do. Nope. I'm gonna cook. So, anyway, we'll deal with that. Uh, I've got some drink with me, I've got some Ribena, my favorite cold drink. Um, so, I've just got here. Uh, there is a bit of a breeze, which is nice. Um, and it is supposed to be the last heat wave day for, for a few days. Over the next few days, 
we're supposed to get some really heavy thunderstorms and lashings of rain. Uh, the Met Office keeps beeping me and saying, Bretzky, get some fishing in because you ain't going to be in a couple of days. Um, one of the reasons I just showed you exactly where I am, because I don't mind if people know where I fish, um, come down here and try and catch a bass as big as I did the other day. But uh, what I might do, if I know there's going to be a day next week where it's going to be nice, I'll put up a short video saying exactly what day I'm going to be here. So if anybody in the area would like to come and join me on the quay here and have a bit of a giggle and a meet, um, you're more than welcome. Well, you're more than welcome anyway. I don't own this quay. <laughs> but you know what I mean. I mean, I've seen a few subscribers over the last couple of weeks and it's been lovely chatting to people. Um, and I appreciate the support, as you know. Um, so, enough chatter. Let's get set up and let's start fishing. I'd... Another bass would be nice. Brett the Bassmaster. Um, I don't want to end this uh, video with two eels that stressed me out. So, let's get set up and let's get fishing. Oh, I've also, so I can't tell if I'm in stock, um, I've also brought um, some lures with me. So I'll probably have a little go with this cardboard and see how the get on to, gets on with the lures. Um, Forgot that. I've been using this lately. This way, I like this. They like they they move up and down and clip in. Uh, I just need this one to be a bit heavier. That's my that's a Gemini. Um, I don't know what weight it is, but it's not that heavy. But that'll be good for the carp rod. I like that. So we're going to put a two-hook flapper on the main rod, beach rod, and then just a single hook on the uh, on the carp rod. Draw them neatly in my little bag. Prefer not wait. Let's get set up. Right, well, I'm now set up. I'm now about to bait up and cast out. And I'm in a mood because I was just talking to old Vern, um, Vern Seafish, and check him out. And I've just realised I've forgotten the lead from my battery pack to the film. And I've got hardly any battery on my film. So I'm only going to be bringing you back at key moments. I might have to come out again tomorrow. Can't believe I forgot that. It weren't on my checklist. Right. I'm going to get... <laughs> oh my God. Now I should go home and get it. But that's another 45 minutes there and 45 minutes back. I'm just going to have to wing it. If, if, it, if it's too short, I'll, I'll, I'll come back tomorrow morning. Right. Let me, let me do something before this battery run out. I 
Why is it just some industrial building? No, no, no. The beach is there. Yeah, all right, okay. As soon as you uh, go around the bend, yeah. you're, you're looking at the beach. Oh, lovely. So, cafes and stuff on there. Yeah, if you follow all the way around to the right, yeah, I got you. Um, and go up, and I'll bend around to the left, yeah. you're on the beach, the car, the shop. Lovely, thank you very much. All right. Have a good day. You too, sir. Well, nothing exciting to report yet. A uh, couple of slight taps on both rods, but it's been about 20 minutes. <clears throat> so uh, I'll give it another five and then I'll reel in, check the bait. It might be a case of when I catch something, uh, if I catch something, you might not get to see it. I hopefully you will. Trouble is, I have to keep turning my screen off to save battery power. If I get a bite, I've got to turn the screen on, put the code in the phone, get it onto the camera, and then position it. <laughs> I can't believe I forgot the lead because normally I leave it on and all I've got to do is press record um, if it turns out to be a short session because of the battery I'll probably try and come out tomorrow morning I don't think it's supposed to rain tomorrow morning I'm writing a new list out tonight So, I'll bring you back in a minute when I'm uh, reeling in.
shed load of weed on that. Well, I've been here for two hours now, guys. Uh, not even a bite. Isn't it so strange how one day can be so different to the next, even when the conditions seem the same. Um, it's like all that weed I keep pulling in. I fished this spot a lot, the exact same spot, and I've never really had to deal with weed here before. But where that's come from, I don't know. Um, it's now two o'clock. So I've been in nearly three hours, actually. Um, not so much as a tap. So it looks like I might be back out tomorrow. Didn't need my battery bank at all. <laughs> no filming needed. Still hot. I think I'm going to put some more sun cream on. Uh, I'm going to reel my big rod in again. Every time I reel it, it's covered in weed and so is the bait. So, uh, it's not getting seen by the fish, is it? The carp rod that I've got near the wall, that's okay. That's not getting weeded out. Um, but every time I reel that in, the bait's still there untouched. So, keep doing what I'm doing. and uh, switch on if anything different occurs I'm the only one fishing today though um, well I spoke to a few people walking by that are here on holiday yeah so see you in a bit that's nothing. It's now three o'clock. We're officially just past low tide. Not so much as a tap. Still pulling in a mountain of weed. It's weird stuff too. It's like bright green, brand new leafy weed. Almost looks edible. Um... Still got my carp rod near the wall. Nothing's touching the bait. So let's see what the next couple of hours bring. Uh, I'll check the length of uh, both videos when I get home. If I feel I need to add to it, I'll come back tomorrow. But let's say, let's see what the next couple of hours bring. All right, so I've cast back out. Uh, I put squid on the one on the carp rod near the wall now, and I shortened the snood. That was quite long. Um, so hopefully that shortening that will help keep it off the bottom. Although with this tide, would it be on the bottom anyway? I don't know. I don't know. That's what I'm trying to say. But if I get a bite now, I'll go woohoo. I know some stuff, don't I?
but still nothing. Um, so we'll keep trying. Well, I hate to admit it, but I think today we have been defeated. Not a single tap. I mean, it's been lovely sitting here, chilling and peaceful. No fish, no movement whatsoever. So I think I'm going to call it. Uh, it's now coming up for five o'clock, so I've been here a good six or so hours. There's only so long I can look at a non-moving rod. Uh, I'll have to check the video length when I get home. Um, I may add to it tomorrow. So I'll see. I'll say see you later. Tight lines, calm lines. Thanks for watching. But you may see me again in a minute. If not, I'll see you on the next video. Cheers, guys.